I procrastinate a lot, like a lot, a lot. And one of the ways it has bitten me in the butt is with a list of small farms that I kind of really need that's been growing and growing over probably months. But I've drawn up a 12 step plan. Um, I mean 11 steps, sort of. And now I want to see how many of these I can knock out in 12 hours of work. How many do you think I'll be able to pull together? Leave your guess in the comments and stick around to find out. And while you're there, don't forget to like the video. And subscribe if you haven't joined the Chaos Coven yet. This will be a good test to see if I've gotten better and faster at building technical stuff, because I've built versions of most of these at some point before. And... Pearl and Soul have decided to join our ventures. Don't mind the screaming balloons. For today's farms, we'll be starting out here at the Ocean Monument. And out here is where I have my mine shaft, and we'll start down there and work our way up. And with that, I think our time starts now. So our very first farm is going to be a glow squid farm. All right, we know that somewhere under here, oh, look at the glow squid. What? Is a drowned apparently. Where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. Sheesh. Okay. I think it's through here. There is an amethyst. Yes, there is. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more light. We will be back here. Um, but right now we just need some amethyst shards. Shards? Is that what they're called? Yeah, they are called shards. Obviously, this has uh, become my new mining area, and I definitely have uh, plans for for decorating it and making it look nice. But for now, it's purely functional. All right, tinted glass. Ah, I am always woefully unprepared for these sorts of things. Alrighty, this is pretty simple, not high tech in any way, shape, or form. But I think we're ready to put in some axolotls. All right. So in this area, I am going to, one, set up some blocks around here. So I can see exactly which chunk the slime chunk is, but I think it's this one in the corner. So for our other quadrants, this obviously has the entrance to our mine shaft, but also will be a wool farm. And over here, we're gonna put in a chorus farm. And then that quadrant is going to have bamboo and sugar cane with flying machines, of course. All right, so our end farm is going to fit in this little section of the quadrant here. I am fully prepared to have to fix these uh, water walls later. I don't foresee needing much in the way of chorus products, so I'm just gonna leave it at this kind of small bit of storage, nothing fancy. All right, we'll put our triggering mechanism in when the wall goes in from these guys. So now I think we should start working on this area. I have an amethyst here that's kind of underneath the ocean monument that I'm gonna waterlog and hmm. turn into a manual farm, but with like LA collection and stuff. Oh no, I got myself, I got myself lost. How did I get myself lost? How do I get out of here? There we go, okay, cool. They can spawn at Y level 30. 30, okay, so the amethyst is low enough. I thought it wasn't low enough, which is why I put the glow squid farm farther down. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to uh, also make that a glow squid farm because like, I have to, you know? Amethyst yeah. and glow squid, like. <laughs> How am I getting so many iron golems? Did I not turn the farm off? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is. You good? No. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Have people had a phantom spawn on them yet? Like. I have not. That's impressive. Probably gonna happen soon though. Now you said it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What was that sound? The sound? That's a new sound I haven't heard before. It was a squeaky, it sounded like babyish, baby mobish kind of voice, and it felt like, it sounded like it fell out. Oh, probably a dolphin, yeah. It sounded like it fell out of the water and died. <laughs> no, sad. 
God. Dolphins are the best. You know, I am shocked that we haven't had phantoms yet. I know. Like, what? <laughs> what's uh -oh. going on? Why am I hand chopping cobble when I have a cobble farm right <laughs> over here? You know, guys, I'm going to do something unthinkable. What? Hey. I'm gonna get myself stuck, apparently. I am going to sleep. <laughs> Ew. You know, I'm really surprised nothing has come after us. Right? Are there phantoms? Dang it. No! And after you slept, now they're phantoms. <laughs> the first encounter. <laughs> Alright, let's see if that actually works. Yes! Crap, there's the... Not a turner on the other side. I'm so sorry, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Not currently. Ooh, it looks so cool from above. Whoa! Ah! Okay. Pearl. Ooh, we all got seats now. Nice. Okay. Everything is working well and normally there. And if we turn that on, let's see how that one fares. Nope, it got stuck. Why did it get stuck? Oh, because that repeater is still on just the one tick. Yeah, that does cause problems. D d my gosh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, that one's going. So you guys want to see something fun? Let's... Yep, this, this, this shulker. Oh, we can still open it. Interesting. It keeps getting stuck open like this. I don't know what, what exactly is going on, but you know. Well, I'm sure I'm going to end up eating my words for this, but at least a slime farm isn't as redstone-y. Alrighty, we are about halfway through our time. And, well, I'm going to say that I didn't get as many farms done as I was expecting and hoping. Um, but, you know. I'm glad for the help of the friends, and I appreciate the distraction, but now that they have headed off, let's get down to business. Oh! As you can see, our chorus farm is growing quickly, um, but I do need... I do need a little snow farm, just kind of like right here or something like that um just so that i can huh, not keep splashing into the water um so that i have those to collect the flowers first and then we just hit the button and go we have an ice road connected up to our farm portal now so many people came on yesterday and cage ended up building the ice road it it was very fun to just have a ton of people hanging out stack stack and stack and shear. Excellent. And then this fine gentleman needs a roof because uh, our last snowman at a snow farm uh, perished because of the lack of a roof. Now what let's do is let's get ourselves one quick little chorus harvest because you got to use the farm, right? You can't just build it and then move on. All right, and then we hit the button, and down they go. Oh, interesting. So the the big, like, bud fruit things don't block, or they block the water. <gasps> That's cool. It's good to know. All right, well, we are going to spend time 
investigating our slime chunks later because I don't have the time right now to stand around and try to figure out which one is the slime junk. Now our next farm is gonna be out over in this area. Out over in this area, we have a bunch of playerless farms, which means that we just kind of sit here to AFK. So what we're doing today is a farm that uh, I have very much been needing because I'm running out of puffer fish in my potions shop. So today we are building a new fishing farm. I have one over at my old witch farm, but um, that was the Raiseworks design for 1.19. We're in 1.20, and Mo Yang patched that fishing farm up. So, Ray went ahead and built another one. Yay! Seriously, I depend on this farm for, like, everything in life. Maybe not actually, but, like, it's a really fantastic farm, so... I need a bed, and I'm not running back for more wool, so... Let's take a little look around for a sheepy. A sheepy sheep. Sheeps! I think there were sheeps over here. Yeah. There's probably also bad things. So we're going as quickly as we can. Oh, I already got three. Perfect. Come on. Can't find my rocks. There we go. All right. Well, this is always the tricky bit of these farms is uh, getting the boats into position. We just don't bump the boats. Easy, right? Now we take a momentary break to test this farm out. Now we've got so much junk to clean up in here, my goodness. Before we leave this area, we have one more farm to work on. I want to set us up a cute little waterlogged amethyst farm, which means we first need to dig out the amethyst. All right, well, this thing has indeed been thoroughly gutted. We've got a collection system in, and, well, you can probably tell by this that we are going to use allays, if I can get them in here without drowning. Uh, where's my allay? I've had an allay here for months. All right, we'll break someone out of our ghast farm, I think. Excuse me, sweetheart. How? Okay, I wonder if this is our original, cause he's holding an ender pearl. What, how'd you get over here, buddy? Come on, there you go. What happened, sweetheart? You just really, really, really badly wanted to get to those note blocks, huh? Hey, baby, are you interested in some music? Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. No, you, small thing, are going to stick with me. Sheesh. Through the portal you go. There you go. All right, sweetheart. Come along with me. Shoom, ba -doom. Now, this is going to be a little rough. We're going to make it as quick as possible, okay? That was a great start. You ready? Here we go. Oh, no, 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 baby. Come back. Where'd you go? No. Come, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. They can take a lot of damage because they heal really, really fast. But we gotta go, we gotta go. Come with me, baby. No. Come on. Come on, sweet thing. Where'd you go? Come on. 
follow me. No. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Baby, come on. Come on. Okay, we're pushing you now. Come on. Sweet thing. Hear the hear the hear the note block? You come to the note block. Baby, come on. Almost, you're almost here. You're almost here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm shaking. You made it, sweetheart. You made it. Okay. This is pretty neat, if I do say so myself. Now that I think we've gotten everything fully connected up, let's do some amethyst mining. If I wasn't already obsessed with amethyst before, I certainly am now. This is a fantastic way to harvest amethyst. We're gonna waste a little bit of precious time because I wanna put blue axolotl into our amethyst, but I don't have any blue axolotl babies right now. Tropical fish, come say hi to me. I don't want you for any nefarious reasons. I just wanna say hi. And we get a little teeny tiny baby. We can dump a little axolotl buddy in here. Well, that's another farm done and dusted, but speaking of tropical fish, you know how we went exploring south of the mega base a few episodes ago, a couple episodes, something like that? Well, we are going to be using the fruits of our expedition today. All right, right about in here is where we wanna be working. So we'll light this little cave bit up. The premise of this farm is that Tropical fish spawn within lush caves, right? Um, and the only other water mob that does is the axolotl. Um, so basically they'll spawn in here, they'll get shot up all the way to the top, and then we bucket and unbucket and repeat. And there we go. And suddenly there's a lot of tropical fish up here. So after poking around in the depths of the comments under the Raiseworks video that I was kind of copying this from, it seems that this uh, model doesn't work in 1.19 plus. So we might have to do that in a tropical ocean. This was super disappointing. Um, Raiseworks usually has such reliable farms but it seems that he doesn't update when farms don't work in newer updates. He doesn't update any of that information in titles or captions. So you have to really go digging for those comments to make sure that it actually does work in your version. Okay, at this point, we only have time to make one farm. Looks like Sam was in here organizing these overflow chests. Thank you, Sam. But what we're gonna do is we're finally going to make a blaze farm. Now that I have a good, um, oh, that's a ghast just like in, wow, that was dramatic. So they're gonna be spawning on us a lot, huh? Got it. down here and grab us some lava. You know, I haven't done anything with striders, but they're so cute. It's too big. Oh my goodness, okay. How do we get out of this mess then? We place that one, right? Excellent. Okay. We gotta make this quick. We need to take out those torches. Mm -hmm. 
Good for us, we made it out alive. And they're already waiting for us down in here. And with that, I believe we're also about out of time. Well, we got a lot of farms done. Not as many as I was hoping, if we're honest, but we still made a good amount of progress. Let's go ahead and mark off the ones that have been made. Well, we got most of our industrial area ones done, um, except for the slime farm. So we got the glow squid, we got the amethyst, which also has some bonus glow squid to it. Um, and then the bamboo sugarcane farm, the chorus farm, and the fishing farm. Uh, I will be doing some investigating on this bad boy here. And hopefully that'll be up and running fairly quickly. Over here, we only got the blaze farm done. Um, I was hoping I could at least get the frog light one in because that's really more of a, we're moving a new farm. Though, oh, it's going to be a chore to get the frogs across and out of their roof or new frogs. So maybe it's a good thing we didn't try to do that one today. And to be fair, we did build a tropical fish farm. It just doesn't work. I don't know if I really showed off all of the farms as I finished them, so let's take a quick look at a recap of all the different farms that we made in this in this video. Down at the bottom of the world in our mine, we have some glow squid tanks with axolotls in them. Super easy, super simple. Also not very effective. Up at the top of our drained ocean monument, we, one, have an absolutely beautiful, fantastic floor. Thank you, Pearl, so much for that. You're a little crazy. That's, uh, impressive. On one side, we have a bamboo and sugarcane farm that is harvested via flying machine and then collected with a rail system underneath. I don't have to do anything for that one either. It's great. The other finished farm in this area is our chorus farm which has a tiny little manual snow farm alongside it. I get the fun of some target practice with the chorus flowers, and then we press a button to flood the area. No thoughts, only amethyst. This is a Raiseworks design for 1.20. I'm very excited to finally have some puffer fish. You can even run my iron farm and the other playerless farms that are in this area of my industrial district while I'm at it, which is why I built it here. And of course, our last farm that was way more stressful than I ever want to deal with um, is just a simple little blaze farm. At least some of the problems that my procrastination has caused have been solved. I still got a bunch more to do, but you know, that was a good portion knocked out. Let's be real, this is how I manage real life as well. I just put things off and put things off and put things off and then do them all in one big fell swoop. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go restock my redstone box. Don't forget to like the video, and if you're new around here, why don't you subscribe and join the Chaos Coven? I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!